Okay, um, we'll just take you through here um, briefly. We have um, our uh, classroom. This is Google Classroom. And uh, the reason why we had to set this up is uh, e learning. And uh, basically, we are um, stuck here in the in the house, and uh, because of inclement weather, and that way the students can still get their work done, and uh, as well as us uh, providing them that service. So let's go ahead and open up a a uh, period here that kind of shows you here. Well, this also shows you the twenty one, you know, the amounts of students that are uh, in each class. Which could be helpful, and uh, really helpful is the upcoming events. And uh, basically, this is my uh, view here: uh, reading and, and uh, doing textbook pages and, and some notes. So let's go ahead and, and dive into one. <clears throat> this is period three, and upcoming assignments: uh, what's due today and what's due tomorrow. I have both of those. So we'll just go ahead and slide you down here um, from top to bottom. So. Four picks, one word uh, is a uh, an activity, a project that I'm going to have them be doing. All I'm asking them is uh, basically who your partners are, and put them on the list. There's a, a list right here that tells uh, what's going on. There are nine individuals out of twelve, so not everybody has to uh, ring in, obviously, um, because of uh, the amount of people that we have in the class. So I can always check and see these 12 that are not done. So I'll make sure they're they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, the most important thing I have gotten this uh, out of this uh, Google Classroom and uh, e-learning is uh, communication. That is a huge word. And uh, showing communication back and forth. So with instructions. Uh, so these, these right here are comments that I have made uh, about that assignment. So... Uh, first American, uh, this is the uh, American, the story of us, which is episode three going westward. I went ahead and found this on YouTube, put the, put the entire video right there for him, and uh, also found a worksheet. And we were working on this in class, and uh, before um, this all happened, so now they get to finish it up. So, very excited about that. 16 are uh, done, and but uh, then we have five that are not done. It was due yesterday, so I'll have to find out what's going on with these five and get, uh, get in touch with them. Several comments on this one. As you can see, there's 17 or more comments, and uh, you can either you know look at the comments and and see what uh, what has been actually said, and then uh, get back with the students about uh, the assignments. Again, like I said, communicate, communicate, communicate. Can't say that enough. Uh, the next assignment, we had textbook page uh, 344. And uh, two, two answers here, two questions. Two for key terms, which is just vocabulary. And I went ahead and put their book on uh, this, uh, this attachment. And uh, seven have, uh, have done it, and 14 have not. So I'll have to find out what's going on there. It's not due until Thursday, which is the 8th, which is good. Today being the seventh. All right. Uh, chapter ten, section one, notes and three points. Here are the notes. I'm going to put that down as a word dot. And uh, we have seven done, fourteen not done. So we have some more comments about that. And some more reading. This is what they were supposed to do uh, the other day. We had a lot of people of them actually doing this and getting it done. So. 10 are done and, and, and 11 are not. And I just go ahead and mark them off of my little list that I have. So, the last one. We have a lecture. Uh, this would be like uh, me lecturing in the classroom. And this is a 22 minute uh, YouTube video of me lecturing uh, over chapter 10, section 1. So, I, um, that way you know you can take care of uh, it in, uh, at home. If you cannot, if you're not there in the in the classroom, so again, eleven done, ten not done, and that was due yesterday. So I'll ask them what's going on. Uh, so going back to uh, the rest of this, there are uh, keywords like I said, communication, and we also have not only just communication, but we have uh, basically uh, holding them uh, the students accountable. 
uh, is a big thing because we're not in the classroom. Um, we're all at home, so but we're not on a day off. And uh, so I'm going to have to find out what's going on with those individuals and uh, turn, their, turn their names in if I need to. And um, practice. We're going to be practicing uh, more and more of this, uh, even if it is not a uh, e-learning e uh, day. Uh, so we need more practice in the classroom as well. You can do this, and uh, because uh, uh, practice doesn't make perfect, uh, but uh, perfect practice sure does make better. That's what we need to do. So communication, accountability, and practice. Those are the three things uh, that I have gotten out of this uh, interesting uh, inclement weather. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the little tour. And we'll go ahead and shut down this little individuals here.